It is another day in rise, and now it's my turn to take W6 out for a spin. So here I am at Rusty's. Uh, you can see Rusty actually has four uh, A4s now because we brought back those other two. So now there is four of them here, so that's nice. But we are actually interested in W6 this time, so let's rent one. No, wait, that's the wrong option. Aerospace W6, yes. For one day. Let's see, IVR35865. I'm gonna write this down. 35865. 35865. As you can see, it doesn't uh, really appear anywhere around here because it's actually at the airport and we're gonna have to drive there and pick it up from the airport. Uh, but we're actually gonna have uh, to bring cargo pods there as well. So I am also going to rent a truck and some cargo pods. It's gonna be slightly annoying. W6 has three cargo bays and we're gonna have to drive to the airport three times if we wanna load all three pods and I guess that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna record all of it of course. Okay, let's get ourselves a truck now. T121 Seven eight three six, yes. And now we need the cargo pod. There we go. The first pod is uh, 850. Yeah, I'm gonna write that down as well. Alrighty then, now we're gonna drive this truck to... Well, actually, before we do that, let me show you something. I suppose, our plan for today. So, today we're gonna fly to Kansas which is 2000 kilometers east of Deus and uh, hopefully this is far enough to do a suborbital flight I guess we'll find out and um, I think I'm going to bring rare materials from Deus they are worth 1045 credits in Deus and they are buying them for 2000 in uh, Kansas so that's pretty good and uh, we can bring some fuel ore back from Kansas fuel ore is 20 in Kansas and they are buying it for 48 in days so that's what I'm going to do today hopefully without crashing the aircraft and losing all my cargo and money so now, I am going to, you know what, actually, I am not quite sure, I think you probably can, you probably can buy stuff in, in the airport. Let's actually drive straight to the airport and check. I cannot really be arsed right now to drive on the roads, so I'm gonna cut through here. I don't see any police around to stop me. Only curbs are there to stop me. 
but those are easily defeated by slowing down a little bit. Okay, now let's see where our W6 is actually parked, because I don't know, I haven't rented one before. Should be somewhere around here. Let's see. The IVR was uh, 35865. Must be one of these. Yeah, there it is. There it is. So it's a uh, second hangar on the east side of this apron. Okay. Let's see, cargo trade. And yeah, we can buy rare straight from here. Okay, good. Let's not do that. Not at the moment. Let's just unload our cargo pod. And I'm gonna bring a couple more here. Well, I'm not gonna record that, obviously. See you in a moment. Okay, so I bought all three pods here. Now I just need to find a place to park my truck somewhere out of the way that is within 250 meters of our parking spot. Let's see if we can find such a place. I don't know, is this, is this good? It's kind of weird. Does it say landing zone? It does say landing zone, except like half of it is blocked by the hangar. <laughs> oh well. Hopefully no one's gonna mind if I leave my truck here for the time being. g Jenner just landed at Industrial and he's logged off, so... And there is no one else in line at the moment, so hopefully it's gonna be fine. Hopefully it's gonna be fine. Okay, let's just park it here. And here's our W6. Well, not our, but you know what I mean. All units okay. Now let's load our stuff. Synchronizing on board computer with portable device. 905, that's our pod. Oh, bay doors, of course. Nine oh six and eight fifty. So we got all three pods loaded. Now we're gonna fill them with rare. Oh boy, it's a bit hard to see. But yeah, rare for one thousand forty-five credits. Okay. Buy fill containers. Yeah, I hope I don't fuck this up. Jesus Christ. Boop. Ah, yeah, cargo bay doors. I keep forgetting about cargo bay doors. Alrighty then. We are overweight. So that's not great, but. 
probably not a, a problem how how much overweight we are it's 115 let's actually see uh what is the maximum recommended weight for w6 105 so we are 10 tons over hmm i don't know how bad it is <laughs> i guess we'll find out anyway let's see cargo everything's fine everything's great wonderful let me get my joystick in place because i just keep forgetting to do it before before trying to fly which is a bit stupid okay let's see yeah it works all is well now we're gonna need to taxi to the runway i'm gonna be taking off from the runway and which runway would that be let's actually check well it should be runway 36 but uh, how do we taxi okay airport diagram i think that's what i need as soon as it loads yeah Oh, so we are here, so we're just gonna taxi like this to runway 36, that's that's easy, okay. No problems here. Okay, let's try to do that. Parking brake is off, so let's give it a little bit of throttle, and let's see if it starts moving. It doesn't. Well, I am overweight. 20% throttle. Okay. Starts going at like 25. I shouldn't overdo it. Keeping an eye on my airspeed. Don't want it to get too too high. Let's set our waypoint to Kansas. Oh boy, what is the, the airfield designation for Kansas? I kind of forgot. Okay. We're, we're gonna look it up in a moment. I don't think we're going to turn quickly enough. Yeah, I should have started turning earlier than that. But well, that's okay. That's okay. Well, I guess let's drive to the middle of the runway. Okay. 
should be good enough probably. All right, now let's look up uh, what is the airport designation for Kansas. Mm. It is FMCI, Mid-Continent International, VMCI, okay. So VMCI. Run with thirty six two thousand four hundred seventy eight kilometers away. All right, let's see if we can get this baby airborne flaps. I think we're gonna need flaps flying overweight like this. Landing lights activated. IVR three five eight six five. Newest departure to Dumpton. IVR three five eight six five. Zrw. Okay. So we're gonna have to take off and then we're gonna have to turn right immediately, which is not ideal, I suppose. But uh, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. If they give us any fines for failing to follow their instructions, well, if we don't die, I'm certain we can make way more money than that, so... It's gonna be okay. Well... Let's -a go, I suppose. What trim? What config trim? What do you mean config trim? Oh yeah, nose, nose down. It was like full way nose down. Thank you so much for telling me. How do I get rid of trim? Shift five on numpad. Okay, Jesus Christ, it could have been a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thank you, warning system. All right. Retard. Retard. What do you mean retard? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck just happened? I'm sorry. What? Um. Well, the game told me. Twenty. The, ge the, the game sold and I died again. Okay. What 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 the fuck? What? Okay. Well, that was really fucking weird. I'm not sure what was up with that, but alright. Well, I guess I lost all my shit, so now I have to drive to bank and get some money again. What was that, like 60 something thousand, right? Uh, yeah. Should I have uh, set trim to nose up or, or, or what? 
What? It's just really fucking weird. Like, why did it do that? It never happened in the simulator, which is why I have said that you should have fucking all kinds of different settings for the simulator. So you can practice all this shit in the simulator. Because right now I'm just trying to take off with cargo and I'm immediately dead. And I don't know why and I don't know what I did wrong. And this game doesn't fucking teach you. Because fuck you, you're supposed to know all this shit, I guess. Well, anyway, um, let me reset up all the shit and uh, I'll get back on the runway. Well, here I am back at the runway. And let's see if I'm gonna freaking explode again. This time I don't have as much cargo. In case that was the problem, I'm also gonna lower flaps a little bit less and trim my nose up a little bit. No, I forgot to landing lights activated. To talk to tower. Do they? Do they? Positive mate. Okay, it it worked. I guess I did something wrong before. Kind of forgot to talk to ATC. Okay, let's do it. Why are we losing altitude? I don't like that we're losing altitude. Let, let's not bank quite so hard. One zero zero, yeah. Okay, we're not descending anymore. Okay, that was really weird. Okay, one zero zero they said, right? Okay. Zero nine or zero. Okay. 
let's turn on auto flight like this uh, heading 0, 09 or 0 I don't think we need flaps anymore Okay, I think everything is fine so far. Let's uh pitch up a little bit more. give it more throttle Yeah, let's just go full throttle. I mean, we are going to go to space, hopefully, so... Full throttle is probably the way to go. Anti-ice. Do you need anti-ice in space? Probably not, because there is no water in space, right? There is no moisture in space. So your wings probably cannot freeze over, and even if they do... It kind of doesn't matter, right? Because you're not using wings to fly in space. Indicated airspeed is dropping. I'm not sure how much of a problem is this. I read a bit about indicated airspeed, but I don't think I really understood what's that all about. I suspect it might not really be a problem. But I don't know. Also, for some reason, we, we are off course. So let's maybe uh, get back on course a little bit. Yeah. Maybe we are banking to the left because weight distribution is uneven. I don't know. Okay, we are above clouds, so that's nice. Actually, you know what? ATC can fuck off. We're kind of flying towards where we need to fly. And uh, I'm not making small adjustments with this thing.
Okay, now we don't have to worry about ATC. And everything seems to be fine. Yeah, indicated airspeed is just like way down now, but it's not really a problem and we're not stalling, so... I guess that's okay. 20 kilometers and climbing. Let's see if we can pitch up to 30 degrees. That we can, okay. Let's switch to our sunglasses right away, just in case there's gonna be some sneaky sun somewhere shining into our eyes. Oh, I can see the stars now. That's cool, that's cool. Sound barrier. Okay. The sky is getting darker. Now what, let's try to switch to nav. I'm not sure how good of an idea it is, but we'll see how it goes. I think I just did it in poorly, you know. Let's also like throttle down a little bit because I don't want to speed up too much. We're still in the atmosphere. I don't want to fucking burn. I'm not sure that switching to nav was such a great fucking idea, but yeah, whatever. Let's just switch to roll zero, whatever. I don't care how of course we are. I just don't want to fuck myself. Oh shit, we are losing altitude. I just noticed. Perhaps it was a bad idea to fuck. I was holding the, the button for too long. We're losing altitude fast, god damn it. Like you fucking stop paying attention to one thing and then you're just completely fucked. Cool. But hey, I guess we are on course now, so that's good. Yeah, we're kind of falling back into the atmosphere. 
fast. Which is not something I want at all. Okay, let's try to salvage the situation. Jesus Christ. That went really fucking poorly. Our vertical speed is not quite as horrendous anymore as it was before, but it's still bad. And it's climbing very slowly. And I don't understand why. Like I'm at full thrust, pointing my nose up. I'm also firing up my vertical thrusters. And it's barely helping. What the fuck is this? Yeah, switching to nav was like a really bad idea. And cutting the engines was a really bad idea. Let's try to achieve level flight. It's it's just not happening, like I don't understand. I keep losing altitude. Full thrust. I just honestly have no idea what the fuck is going on. Yeah, now we're stalling. Now we're stalling. Yeah, we're just like fucking falling. And uh, like, I cannot do shit. Okay, I think, I think we're good. Okay, I think we're good. What the fuck was that all about? Okay, let's let's achieve level flight again. Why are you turning? Why are you turning? What the fuck? I'm not doing this. I'm not fucking doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. What the fuck is going on? It just started banking for no reason. And now it's out of control completely. This is the, exactly the same thing that happened when I... Uh, when I died in A4. So I guess I'm just dead again because I can't recover from this. Yeah, this is unrecoverable. What if we do this shit? 
Just for shits and giggles. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna help. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna help. I can't pull up. I can't fucking pull up. Wait, I'm not dead? How am I not dead? Like, once again, none of this was ever a problem in the simulator. Okay, and we are in the water, and we are not dead, so I guess uh, uh, doing reverse thrust actually helped. But man, like, what the fuck is any of this? Like, why did any of that happen? I absolutely have no idea. Like, what... Okay, I guess I just, uh, like, cut the engines and, like, started just falling back to the planet. Okay, I understand that, and I was also banking, and that was just, like, a shitty maneuver altogether. So I started falling back into the atmosphere because, uh, because I'm stupid. Okay, that part is understandable. But the other part, where I... Like, it started stalling, but then it was flying normally, just for a few seconds, it was flying normally, but then it just started banking violently, and I wasn't doing this, I wasn't fucking banking, I was trying to correct it, but it uh, just didn't do anything. And then it started just fucking spinning into the ground, and... Uh, I also didn't dive for some reason. Apparently diving 90 degrees into water in an airplane just doesn't kill you. Which I am thankful for because I don't want to lose all my shit, of course, but um, yeah. Well, anyway, now we have to somehow get back into the air, which might be a problem. Well, this is a VTOL, I guess, so maybe... Maybe, maybe we can, maybe, it's probably not, probably we can't. We might have to dump all cargo in order to take off again. But I'm gonna try it with, like this for now, okay, let's, let's see what happens. Yeah, this engine is just not enough. Yeah, this isn't like a true VTOL. So yeah, it doesn't have enough power to... What, what if I add the main engine? Is this is gonna do anything. Nope. It ain't fucking doing anything. Uh, okay. We didn't die, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna have to fucking get rid of all our cargo. Can we actually dump cargo? Can you actually empty cargo containers? Mm. 
Let's see. Doesn't look like it. Uh, maybe I need open cargo doors and then I can empty those. Nope. There is no button to empty them, there is no control to empty them. I can just unload them. That's not really gonna help. I can really do some stupid cheaty shit. Maybe, but I would rather not. Because you can just snatch containers while you're flying over them. <laughs> okay, let's make a waypoint here. So that's going to be our waypoint. Oh, I can I rename it? No, I guess not. Okay. Let's try to unload one container and see if we can get into the air. It's not taken off. Okay, let's unload everything. Okay, unload everything. Unload. unload okay let's see if we can take off like this too low gear positive rate yes yes we can so let's start flying Auto flight enable. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's not climb. I want to see the ground while I'm flying. Or well, water in this case. Now we're going to turn around, we're going to fly over that shit and try to pick it up mid-flight. It is possible.
That's gonna be a pain trying to do this three times. Sink rate. Sink rate. Pull up. Sink rate. Five hundred. Too low. Gear. 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 Man, this is a pain. Server is about to reboot. No, he's probably memeing, memeing me. This is G-Jenner. He's memeing me. What a fucking piece of shit he is. He's he's just memeing me. There is no way the server is gonna reboot right now. Okay, you know what? Let's let's try to do it in a better way. Because like turning this thing around is like kind of a big problem. It seems. Fuck you, Jijinner. Whatever it is that you are writing, I'm not reading it. We might be on track, kind of. I'm not sure I can get within 250 meters of it. Maybe auto flight can help. Wait. Heading MSL. Nav MSL. When she, when she oh, that's when not, that is not fucking what I want thousand. right now. Oh, I can see it, it's over there. We need to get lower than that. I need to get even lower than that.
and even lower than that. Five hundred. Too low, dear. Too low, dear. Too low, dear. It worked. It worked. We have one cargo container. Okay, we grabbed one. Jesus fucking Christ. What a meme. What a goddamn fucking meme. Now we just need to do this two more times. Okay, well, I guess I don't need to record this part two more times, so... Yeah, I'll get back to you when I stop uh, unfucking myself. Alrighty then. I managed to unfuck myself, as you can see all my cargo pods are now loaded. And they are actually loaded evenly this time. The lighter cargo pod is in cargo bay too, which I assume is probably in the middle or something. So maybe that's a better arrangement of pods. And of course that happened by accident, because I was just frantically trying to fucking grab them. <laughs> I didn't remember which one was which. But okay, so we are back where we were before, like 50 kilometers where everything went to shit. But this time I'm not doing anything and we're actually flying to where I want to fly. So we're going to keep climbing to like 100, I guess. Actually, now our vertical speed is dropping. Okay, let's uh, lower the pitch angle. Because, uh, this, this is happening again. This is fucking happening again. I guess we are just too heavy and it's not really working. And let's use our VTOL engines. And it's not helping. It's not fucking helping. Our vertical speed is dropping. Okay, you know what? Just fuck that. I guess just suborbital doesn't work. Let's try to fly back in into atmosphere. Oh no 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 no. At like 40 kilometers. Oh, but now our speed is too high. We're at like one kilometer per second. Which is way too much for this altitude. And we're not slowing down, actually. Oh, we are slowing down a little bit. Okay, let's uh, switch to MSL mode. Yeah, I guess suborbital hop is just not working. Okay, I don't think we need reverse thrust anymore. Yeah. Thank you. 
maybe even 50% thrust is too much. Let's do 40 maybe. Yeah, auto flight isn't just doing a super great job. Let, let's help the auto flight. 39 kilometers, let's switch it to 39. And maybe it will be able to keep shit together. Yeah. What is this like fucking warning beeping? I don't know what that is. An auto flight is just shit. It just overcorrects way too much. Now let's switch to fucking Peach. Uh. Let's switch it to Peach mode. And let's see how it goes. Okay, we're climbing. Need to pitch down some more. Okay, I think we are in level flight, more or less at one kilometer per second roughly at 38 kilometers suborbital hop didn't quite work out i don't know why like as soon as i'm out of the atmosphere i'm just start fucking falling back into it so i'm not quite sure like what is the proper way of doing it once again in the simulator i had no cargo and i had no way to try it fully loaded like I'm doing right now so I have no fucking idea how to like do this properly like did I need like more pitch or like less pitch or what the fuck did I need to do in order to you know actually start flying in space I don't fucking know I guess I should ask Rana about that later but it looks like right now we're just gonna be flying towards Kansas not quite as fast as I would have liked but at least we're probably not gonna die anymore <laughs> so yeah um, I'm gonna stop the recording for now it's gonna take a while to get there yeah but I'm gonna stop the recording for now and I'm gonna resume it uh, for the landing which is probably gonna be even more of a fucking meme than the botched takeoff anyway see you then just thought this was kind of a cool view here and while I'm still flying I had to slow down to 0.8 kilometers per second because my airframe temperature keeps climbing and it is still climbing and I'm kind of concerned about that I should probably slow down even more and I don't know at which point it becomes a problem but I guess we will probably find out soon enough well if I fucking burn to pieces uh, in the atmosphere I will let you know so yeah we were flying towards the dark side of the planet so as you can see it's gotten quite a bit darker ahead of us now we are within 175 kilometers of Kansas and I think it's probably time to start descending so let's pitch down as much as auto flight allows us and I think I'm just gonna record this stretch of the flight in its entirety kinda sucks that we're gonna be landing in the dark but well such is life I suppose 
our airframe temperature climbed to 109 and it's not yellow yet so I, I guess everything is fine maybe probably I don't know I'm trying to think whether or not we have enough distance to descend at such rate. Probably not really. I think I need to pitch down some more. Yeah, let's... Well, actually, you know what, 30... Yeah, okay, let's pitch down some more to like maybe... 20... Oh, it's the fucking trim, isn't it? Yeah, trim is to set to nose up. Which is why I couldn't really pitch down very efficiently. That kind of sucks. Well, I managed to add like a couple, couple degrees of pitch. We're actually at 24 kilometers, which is probably good enough since we're 100 kilometers away. We can probably, yeah, we can probably descend normally. Yeah, now trim is going the other way. We probably want more throttle at this point. Yeah. Passing sound barrier. Okay. I guess we were passing it like the backwards. <laughs> probably best to turn on anti-ice again mm, it's really dark now And Kansas is uh, runway 36, so we're gonna have to do some adjustments before we can land. I'm not sure how well I'll be able to pull it off, to be honest, but I guess we'll see. We're gonna be in the clouds soon. So here's the last glance of the stars we're gonna get on this flight. Yeah, I'm kind of higher than I would like to be. Let's pitch down some more. And yeah, now we are in the clouds can't see shit but that's okay mm. 
What is my waypoint? My waypoint is Kansas, yeah. Runway 36, I guess that's the right waypoint. Okay, okay. Okay, I will pull up. Oh shit, 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 shit. I was looking at fucking MSL. I was looking at fucking MSL. I should have been looking at AGL. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Oh boy. Oh my fucking god. I didn't realize Kansas is on a fucking mountain! Well, that would have been a fucking dumb way to die. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's switch to... What would the proper MSL be? Like 7200 or something. I'm kind of wondering if I'll be able to make the turn just like this, or do I need to turn right a little bit? But how the fuck are we gonna land actually? I I'm kind of worried about the clouds. Will, will we be able to see anything at all while landing? I'm not sure. Okay, let's make a, let's give ourselves some more space for maneuvers. Let's uh, change our heading to one to zero. And then we're gonna try to turn around. Okay. Engine sound just like changed a little bit and I got all worried. But I think everything is still fine. We're flying above 1000 AGL. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna like, super die anytime soon. Okay, okay, okay. Landing lights activated. I think now might be the time to switch to nav. Let's maybe wait just a little bit more. Just a little. Don't need anti ice anymore. No, we still need anti ice, it's cold outside, okay. Switching to nav. Oh, wait, no, wait, 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 that's wrong. That is probably wrong. Let me. Let me see, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a bit too early. 
I think. Yeah, let's let's fly like this for some more. Okay, maybe now. No, still not now. Back to heading. I think we're stalling. Okay, should be fine now. I have a sneaking suspicion that we're gonna like really fuck it up and overshoot completely. But maybe that's just me. Are we stolen again? No. Doesn't look like it. Like, the more I fucking fly, the less I trust autoflight. Because autoflight is banking too much. Okay, we're just 10 kilometers away. I think it's time to do it by hand at this point. Can't see anything yet. Where's the fucking runway? We're just six kilometers away and okay, now I can at least I could see the ground, so I know it's not just the clouds. Please give me the runway lights. I really need the runway lights just about now. Mm. 
Wind shear. Wind yes, shear. yes. When I'm landing, wind shear. Thank you very much. I don't see the runway. It's four kilometers away. I should be able wind to see shear. it. Wind shear. Wind shear. One thousand. Sink rate. Oh, there it is. Okay. I see it. I have gear down, right? Yeah. Five hundred. Fuck, 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 fuck. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Reverse to the end. Flaps. Four to the first class. Flaps. Too low. Flaps. Too low. Flaps. One hundred. Okay, I think we're gonna make it. One hundred. It was kind of really monkeyous. Flaps. Too low. Flaps. Too low. Flaps. Forty. Thirty. Too low. Flaps. Too low. Flaps. Ten. Trim. 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 Well, somehow we made it. Yeah, and Kansas at fucking 6,000 MSL. Jesus Christ. Okay, now let's sell our crap. Visit market, rare, sell, sell everything. That's a nice amount of money, but that's like only what? 20,000 profit or something. <laughs> and we lost how much? Like almost 70,000. Oh well, doesn't matter. Oh yeah, bay doors, of course, bay doors. Okay, I'm going to fly to days empty. Because I still want to do like suborbital thing, because I've been playing too long. I thought I would be done with this long ago, but because of all this fucking stupid memory... Uh, that didn't quite happen. Okay, so let's set waypoint to this. I'm not sure which uh, waypoint should it be to use the ILS actually. Uh, let's have a look. ILS 36. Well, I know Lumen is the one that just guides you to the airfield, but um, I am not sure about the rest of them. Well, I guess we'll figure it out somehow. We don't need ILS, to be honest. With ATC guiding us towards the runway, there shouldn't really be any problems, to be honest. But I guess we'll see how it goes, if we even get to the fucking runway. Does this have ATC, by the way? Let's see. It does have, not ATC, ATM, it does have ATM, so I'm going to fucking deposit all of my money. This is very convenient. 100,000. Because if I die, if I die during a flight to this, I'm not going to lose anything. So actually, all in all, we are kind of uh, 
we have like roughly the same amount of money like maybe slightly less money than we had when we started um, okay I also need to refuel the fuel is cheap here buy fuel gas tank I still think I need I need actually some to have some money on hand so I can refuel it again uh, back at this. Uh, let's see. Let's grab just a couple thousand, like three thousand. Should be enough for small expenses. Okay, now we are ready to go. I guess. Um, So which uh, waypoint should it be? Beach maybe? I, I don't freaking know. Yeah, we don't need this waypoint anymore. Uh, so I suppose beach, right? Let's find it. Beach, there it is. Full warp thrust. Shift R. Well, I'm gonna press Shift R, but not like it's gonna do anything at this point. Okay, let's let's check everything. We don't need parking brake. Our trim is zero. Flaps. Uh, everything is fine. No cargo. Waypoint is set to beach. So let's try to take off. Oh wait. Well, I don't think I'm gonna need nose up trim will I well maybe just like one okay and let's try to do a suborbital hop back to Deus hopefully it will work but it might not but if it doesn't no problem because we we don't have any money on us Whew, okay I think we're ready, so let's go. Okay. Just about managed to take off before the runway ended okay so far so good I don't think I need flaps anymore so let's uh, carefully carefully turn towards our waypoint Auto flight, uh, nav MSL for now. Once we get on course, landing lights deactivated. Once we get on course, we can start climbing, hopefully.
Everything good. Uh, let's, uh, let's uh, go. No. Like this, yeah. Hopefully this will work. But then again, if it doesn't, it's no problem because I don't have anything valuable on me. So this uh, this should work exactly the same like it did with those suborbital hops that I did in the simulator, hopefully, because now I'm not carrying any cargo. Well, there is still like uh, 8 times 3, 2.4 tons of uh, just cargo pod weight. But hopefully that's not going to be a problem. We are off course somehow. That kind of sucks. Okay, let's. Uh, like we are, we're still flying in the atmosphere. Let's actually get back on course, and then we can start climbing again because auto flight is apparently not very good at keeping us f fucking straight for some reason. I don't know why. Nav missile, auto flight enable. Oh, there is wind. Maybe that's that's the the issue but the wind is not going to be an issue once we get out of the atmosphere so maybe instead of nav let's switch to heading that should probably be better And IIS is probably required right now. Let's see. Yeah, we are above the clouds. We can only see the stars. But I I'm not sure if it's going to be daytime and days after we... Like, when we get there. Let's actually check the portal. Mm. It's going to be dark. Because like this is already dark and while we're flying there it's gonna even get darker. Oh well, such is life I suppose. Okay, I think everything is good so we can start climbing again. That's too many G's. But okay. Passing South Barrier. Good, good.
Auto flight still isn't great at keeping us straight, but well, it's better than it was before, I guess. Let's keep an eye out on our vertical speed because that's about where it starts dropping when we were when we were flying with cargo. This is where it all went to shit. I don't think it's doing that right now. Yes, yeah, 60 kilometers and climbing. Let's pitch down a little bit. Yeah, I think it's working. Can we see anything? Yeah, we can see the sunrise, kind of, sort of, not really. Okay, let's pitch down completely. I think we're gonna overshoot 100 kilometers mark. Yeah, okay, great. So here we are. I just got an achievement for going into orbit, I guess. Which isn't really an orbit, but you know. So now I'm just gonna keep accelerating and trying to keep my altitude above 100 with uh, usage of uh, VTOL engines just like before, just like you've seen on my previous videos and hopefully everything will go smoothly and I will resume the recording before re-entry. Yep, so see you then. There's the sun just coming up around the planet. Had to put my sunglasses on. Anyway, still flying. Okay, I'm not uh, I'm not really sure, but I think now is the time to decelerate. We're 700 kilometers away. I of course haven't checked my old videos, so I don't remember how it went before, but well, if we overshoot, then we overshoot, I guess. Yeah, I think we we might overshoot. We might. 
but we'll see how this goes. Our primary concern is to get uh, back into the atmosphere without, you know, killing ourselves. The rest is just, you know, extra. Two hundred and sixty kilometers away from Deus, we're almost above uh, Alphaville. might be overshooting a bit Shit, shit. I was too busy chatting. F neglected my forward, th I mean vertical thrust. But we almost slowed down to one kilometers per second. And we're still 175 kilometers away, so that's good, I guess. not going fast enough anymore we're just falling onto the planet but that's okay because that's what we want essentially okay that's good fix our sideways speed Oh, I don't like that we are accelerating Okay, I think air is a thing right now. Reverse thrust. Mm. Yeah, I think we like super overshot, but that's okay. I don't know why we were going so fast. Ok, 
Okay, I almost killed myself with overage. Uh. That wasn't great. That wasn't great at all. What the shit? That doesn't look right. What the fuck? What? What is going on? What is going on? Is my plane damaged? Because it's not controllable anymore. Okay, let's try to enable auto flight. Let's see if auto flight can set it to zero roll. It cannot. It cannot. It cannot. I'm not sure why I was like pulling so many G's. That didn't make any fucking sense. Yeah, I think we broke the plane. Yeah, I cannot bank right anymore. For whatever reason. Like, once again, I did the exact same thing in the fucking simulator, and, sound barrier. and it wasn't an issue. But it is an issue here, when I'm flying in the real thing. Why? Fuck if I know why. Okay, is it starting to work? Am I regaining control? I don't think so. I think I just fucking stalled completely and also my plane is probably broken as well. Okay, can I bank left? I can't... I cannot bank anywhere. Yeah, now it gives me stall warning. I guess I just lost my control completely. I wonder if flaps are gonna help. Probably not. Yeah, I don't think I can recover. Yeah, the problem is that I'm fucking flying sideways, so my wings don't have any lift. And I cannot do anything about it. Because I guess I broke them off or something. <laughs> yeah, I guess your wings don't really give you any lift. If they're not there.
Oh, I was hoping she'd shut up for a moment. But I guess not. Yeah, we're just gonna drop on the ground now. Good thing I'm not fucking carrying anything valuable. Yeah, I can see the ground. I wish I could. I wish I could. I wish I fucking could. For a moment I was hoping that maybe, maybe I could survive that, because I was on the ground. Oh well. Bop. How far away are we? 200 kilometers away from this, that's fine. Anyway, well... Yeah, that, that sucked, but well, it's a learning experience, I guess. Like, the, the main problem is that I have no fucking idea what I did wrong. Because I did the same thing in the simulator, it worked. I tried to repeat it, and it didn't work. Why? Okay, anyway, I guess I'm just gonna take off and fly normally towards this, which is 250 kilometers away, and uh, and yeah, when I'm gonna be coming in for landing, I'm gonna resume the recording, so see you then. That's not what I want to hear right now. Right, heading zero is zero. 
They started talking about the weather and fucking couldn't tell me the heading and then they are like well turn why aren't you turning to this heading because you were fucking talking about weather thank you very much i think they said rains right they probably said rains so how are we gonna yeah how are we gonna come in for the landing? I don't know. They will tell us, hopefully. Well, let's set waypoint to rains. And I think it should switch waypoints automatically. I'm not sure though. So they're gonna send us to Rains, then to Runway 301, then to Lumen. Is that how it's gonna work? Where's my airport diagram? Rains is not even on this fucking diagram. Thank you very much. Okay. activated Are they gonna tell us to turn to runway 301? I wonder. Let's get ready to switch to that waypoint. Ah, uh, fuck it. I'm not gonna fucking chat to these people. I have other things to do. Oh wait, they said localizer. They said 1,200, right? That's wrong. Wrong button. But yeah, it is in localizer mode right now, auto flight. I'm not sure it's actually gonna land us. It might. I don't know. We'll see. Well, I guess it's doing something because we're locked on to Lumen, but it's not flying towards Lumen, so I guess it's gonna turn. 
in such a way so we'd be set up for the runway approach. I'm not sure. I know there is like a certain angle you need to approach Lumen at. And we might not be hitting that angle properly, so I don't know if it's gonna do something or, or not. Well, in any case, I can do it by hand. Shouldn't be that much of a problem. If it's not gonna turn now, I'm gonna fucking turn myself. It's not turning. Let's do it manually. Now this should be good enough, right? Hopefully. Maybe. What is it doing? Fuck it, I'm doing it by hand. Okay, maybe now it will actually do things. It might. It might actually do it now, yeah. see the runway yet but it looks like it's trying to guide us towards the airfield I'm not sure but it looks like it I wish I could see anything. Where's the fucking runway? Yes, exactly. Thank you. Where is the fucking runway? is it oh, okay it's coming into view looks like we are not quite where we need to be but that's okay 
Or, or are we? Light slip. Light slip. Yeah, it's Minions. okay. It's okay. It's Minions. okay. We're landing. We're Two landing. Flags. Two though. Flags. One hundred. Two though. Flags. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Light slip. Light slip. Okay. Light slip. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Do they? Flags. Do they? Flags. Do they? Flags. Do they? Flags. US Beef Elder Clipper Heavy. Reverse thrust. Find Southwest. Departing to the Okay, we made it. We made it. We made it. Landing lights deactivated. Yeah, in the end the ILS worked, but it was kind of weird. Okay, now let's try to taxi back to hangar. I'm not sure what what is the proper way to taxi. I'm just gonna taxi however I fucking can. Yeah, the turn radius on that thing isn't really the Hello. the best. Flags. But that's okay, that's okay. We're, we're getting there, we're getting there. Okay, we're we're rolling, we're rolling. Do they? Flags. Do they? Flags. Every time I jump on a bump, the computer lady thinks I'm trying to take off or something. Is this the way to go? I believe it might be. There's our truck. It was second hangar, right? I think I need more space here. I'm gonna just turn around so I have a lot of uh, space available to to aim for the hangar. Just now, gently, we need to drive in there. Mm. 
hopefully I'm not gonna hit hit stuff with my wings. Okay. We're in there. Alrighty then. Open bay doors. Unload our cargo pods. And now I have to drive back to Rusty. Oh shit, shit, shit. I should have refueled. I need to refuel. I need to refuel the W6. Uh, Onboard computer with portable device. Uh, fuel by fuel gas tank. Insufficient funds. Right, fuck, I forgot I died and I don't have money anymore. So I guess I'm gonna have to get money from the bank as well. Oh well, such is life, I guess. Well, anyway, I guess I don't need to record any of that because nothing interesting is gonna be happening anymore. So yeah. That was kind of a complete failure, and I didn't learn anything from it. Yeah, nice. Well, anyway, goodbye and see you next time.